Hello, moss lovers. A friend of mine just gifted me about 30 of these sealable clear plastic containers because she really likes ice cream and I couldn't think of what I could possibly use them for. So I thought I'd start a series of experiments in moss. Just went mooching around my garden and I found this uh, this box of random bits of moss. I also have another random bits of moss box uh, here that I used to make a terrarium and these are leftovers so basically I'm going to be taking these apart hopefully per species and uh, seeing if we can cultivate them in these plastic ice cream tubs. So what I've got here is, uh, I've got several of these tubs actually, um, is one of these tubs that I mix some uh, my standard substrate with, uh, which will be available on eBay to buy very soon, um, with the exclusion of orchid bark. I've not bothered with that because, well, why waste it? And uh, what I'm going to do is flatten this down, give it a spray, because Mox likes quite compacted soil or clay or a lot of moss does all of it of course uh, and then I'm gonna soak this with uh, rainwater and you see look at the lovely color in that I get my rainwater I collect it outside in a big tub and I filter it through organza mesh now, it's supposed to be a very really good soaking but not totally running water and that should do and I'm going to stick some moss on top of that slap the lid on them stick it under a light and uh, let's see what happens in uh, a few weeks okay we've got a single species here I think because it was quite mixed up growing in the same little chunks uh, I think this is baby tooth moss I'll have to uh, get the macro lens on to test that well, I'll have a look later and then I'll label it up um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up into small pieces and simply plant it throughout and I am not going to video that bit because that would be extremely boring. Right, that was extremely stressful. As you see, I've torn apart the main pieces of moss and uh, put them in nice pretty lines and I'm going to date and ID this and then come back to it. Um, I'm probably going to have to spray this a couple of times I think, depends, we'll have to see how it goes, whether it condensates on the lid, but I didn't have to plant it the way I have, the reason I did was uh, simply to make it easier to see if it was growing and how it was growing, whether we get any spread from the width or whether it was just going to be height. So that's one. So now, next tub. I might try something different with this. Just move this bloody camera. I might try something different with this. And I might try this on sphagnum and uh, try a different moss. Let's see. Now, the only thing that worries me about sphagnum moss, you possibly see here, it's green. I buy this, it's quite damp. I buy this from a reptile shop and this is what I rip up and mix into my uh, terrarium mixes and also it's pretty good for seeds and whatnot if they're fast growing so the only thing that worries me is whether the sphagnum moss will actually grow instead of the moss I want to grow so I'll have to see I'm gonna whack this in here and then uh, probably throw some hip and moss I might even shred it and see what happens I'll cut it up I don't know we'll find out anyway I'll do that and then show you. Here we are. Give this a good soak. There's one other thing I'm going to add to this because just in case it is dead and it does start to rot, which does worry me, that idea. Or at least go mouldy. So I'm going to be adding some of my little friends here. Not too many, but enough. Maybe you can see them jumping around there. Yep, I suppose you can. 
And I'm going to add a few. There's another amount of substrate that can go in there with them. There we go. There's a few spring tails in there. It should help if nothing else. Just spread them around a little. Can we see them? Yep, I can see them mooching around. So definitely in there and not on me. It's a nice piece of moss. It's been soaking in rainwater, so it should be, fingers crossed, okay. Now, I think I'm going to do this in two halves. I'm going to cut some up in one half, and the other half I'm going to plant like the other one in little chunks and see which one grows best. I'll be back in a sec. And here we have it. We've got this half. It's been finely cut with a pair of scissors. Chopped. This half been planted in little chunks just to see which one does the best. That's if any do the best in our whole die. And I'm going to give it a, a good spray. Pop a lid on it. And that. Ooh, I don't like that. And this one. Go and draw light with the other one. On to the next. Right, let's so move this. This had a little uh, feather moss in it. So this one, I'm just going to chop this up. And this is just damp. It's where we mix substrate without the orchid bark. So I'm going to give that a chop, sprinkle it across the top, label it up and see what happens. Okay, container number three, feather moss chopped up. The beauty of this is, you're just giving the moss a haircut, you're not actually destroying the entire moss, not because now all of the resin is just chopping the the new shoots off the top and uh, onto this nice damp substrate, push it in a little bit. As you see I've spread it around quite evenly, ish, and then uh, again we've got a spray, oh look at that, hitchhiker, where he came from. Yeah. You can see that that is one sec. That is, and where's my camera? A tiny little leopard slug. Yep, yeah, you can't see that. Okay, I am gonna let this leopard slug go in my paludarium. One sec. And I guess I leopard slug, who's now in this paludarium, quite happy, moving around on a stick. Um that was uh, a good example of why, let's stay on that, you need to quarantine your moss, or at least soak it and check it. You never know what you're going to get. This should have been clean moss, so it has been soaked, it has been checked, it has been quarantined, and still, it was a leopard slug. Scary. So let's put the top on here. This. Hopefully these containers will work. Here's number three. And that can go on my shelf. And for my final trick, I figured that if I was worried about the sphagnum moss growing, that I'd as well try to grow some and see if this dead, according to the bag, sphagnum will grow. Now the best way to cut do sphagnum is cut it because new shoots, if it's alive, should come from where it's cut. So I'm going to cut this up quite small, spread it around, give it a good soaking, and I'm either going to get sphagnum moss growing, or I'm going to make my own peat moss. I'm not sure I can wait that long though. We shall see. Speaking this bit up. Recyclable. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Using it for a new project. 
and we have four different types of mosses in here at least and I'm gonna see what happens to them in maybe a month it's pretty cold so I'm gonna keep them inside though under a light um, just move this and we'll see uh, see if they grow if they do we can make a note of it and uh, do it again well, I can't honestly say if you found this useful, because I don't know if I found it useful yet. We'll have to wait and see what happens with these guys. So I'm going to stick them behind here, where I've got LED lighting. And it should be nice and uh, reasonably warm behind there. And uh, see if they grow. I'll have a look at them again in a month. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And smash that bell icon down below so you don't miss anything I do next. I don't really know what it's going to be. See you next time.